Whoa! Okay. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're reviewing the all new Ford F 150 Lightning. This particular one is a Lariat with the extended range package. So, this is the crazy bad boy version of the Lightning. First and foremost, so a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Miller Ford Lincoln here in Provo, Utah, for giving me some time with the Lightning. This is actually their demonstrator vehicle. So, if you want to come and drive the new Lightning and then put in your order afterwards, definitely come and give them a visit. I'll put a link to their inventory in the description down below. On a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car link to my car buying guide in the description down below as well let's get into the video okay so let's pop the hood to see what engines under this bad boy all jokes aside obviously it's electric and this is the front also i think it's funny that it is a little car for the front release and it's not a truck like it shows truck for the bed but then it's a car for that anyways you guys can see we have a frunk here with the lightning and this frunk is massive this is like the same size as what a lot of cars have for like their rear trunk space and so it's just extremely practical and notice we have our release latch here we have a bunch of outlets here up front and some usbs you even have the newer smaller USB port as well that comes with it and so yeah in terms of like practical stuff for a pickup truck this definitely is just so cool and takes the cake and then you've got this button right here you can press and that'll lower it right back down um, and in terms of truck truck frunks this is the best. Now, before we go over the front end, I do want to get into some performance specs with the new F-150 Lightning. So we have 580 horsepower, 775 pound-feet of torque. It's a dual motor setup, and we have 320 miles of full electric driving range. Now, if we actually go over the front end, you guys can see this is a little bit different than a regular F-150 hood. Um, you can see it kind of like divots down here on either side, so it actually has its own unique appearance, and I love this metallic white it is just beautiful now coming down below you guys can see here with the led headlamps these are slightly different as well and then obviously the gigantic light bar here on the front end uh, for the daytime running light super unique and then notice here how the front end is all closed off for aerodynamic efficiency we have a camera there at the bottom of the ford logo parking sensors here along the bottom with tow hooks there on either side and so you know there are some key differences but it still does look like an f-150 at the end of the day now, coming around the side here, we've got two 75 millimeter tires wrapped around 20 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear as well. And then you guys can see here with the design on the wheels, how it's mostly closed off for aerodynamic efficiency. And it's in this metallic gray that contrasts nicely to the white paint on this particular Lightning. Now, you guys can see here with the suspension, we do have independent front suspension. And this is actually different too. The molding here for the fender looks a little bit different than the regular F-150. Everything seems to be kind of like smoothed off with the Lightning is what I'm noticing. And you guys can see here, nothing happens when I press it, but if we pop over here to the driver's side and I press it, it's the uh, actual charging port here for the Lightning. So <laughs> the passenger side has a dud, the driver's side has the actual charging port, which is kind of funny. Notice here with the mirror, how it's body painted, you got a camera there at the bottom of the mirror. Um, the window section looks the same, and if we take a few steps back, Side profile looks pretty much the same again. A lot of the lines are kind of smoothed off. The bottom portion though, pretty much looks like it's a straight carryover. And then notice there with the fixed side steps. Now a huge thing with the Lightning is we also have, as you can see, independent rear suspension. Here's kind of a look at that. And then also here's a look at the spare tire. Um, but yeah, that's a huge departure because the regular F-150 has a solid rear axle and it has leaf springs. So yeah, this has a pretty unique setup overall. And then you guys can see we've got the lightning badge. So here's our key fob again for the lightning regular Ford key fob, obviously. But anyways, dropping down the tailgate, we have a payload capacity of 1,686 pounds. That is what the door jam sticker says for this truck. Towing capacity is right around 10,000 pounds. Now notice that this has Ford's measuring charts here on the tailgate, just like the regular from 50. This one has spray and bed liner and Ford's bed step system. This all looks the same. Tons of outlets here in the bed. Now it's got LED bed lights as well on either side. Pretty similar setup to what you have on the power boost from an outlet perspective, it looks like. Cargo light with the cargo camera and again, spray in bed liner. And of course it has the fancy auto raise with the tailgate as well. Now finishing things up with the rear, 
You guys can see here we've got the giant light bar here on the back again, another distinction with the lightning with the camera there down below. Got a Ford logo, F-150 stamped into the bed. And then we have the American flag with the charge logo right next to it. Parking sensors here on the rear with the receiver hitch there in the center. And obviously there's no exhaust tips or anything because it's fully electric. But yeah, again, overall, the overall shape and everything looks just like the regular F-150. There are some slight differences that I've noticed with the lines being softer. I'm guessing that's for aerodynamic efficiency, but there you go. So here is the door panel in the rear, and this is the same as what you get in any other Lariat from a door panel perspective. Also, Bang & Olsen sound system with this one. And then you guys can see here with the wood trim, the notice the gray trim right there. And then here are the seats. So this has like the gray interior. Which kind of makes sense because the lightning's like a futuristic truck and gray is always kind of like a futuristic color, gray or white, right? Still have the same underseat storage, so I haven't lost any practicality there. And that looks the same, and we'll actually pop in. The side steps help out quite a bit. Yeah, I mean, this feels just like a regular F-150. Cup holders there, you got our heated seats with the vents, all of our charging ports. And yeah, I literally feel like I'm just in every other F-150. Blood side of the front. Now here is the front door panel. You guys can see again with the material used here at the top and then down below just like a regular Lariat. And then we have our window controls. Front two are automatic. These mirrors do power fold in. They also have blind spot monitoring. We have three settings for the memory seats and again more of that wood trim. Another speaker for the Bang & Olsen sound system. And then you can see here again with the seats. You know, it's perforated down the center portion. Power adjustments here on the side. Got the pedal layout right there. And then notice here with the pedal adjustment, we've got the parking brake right there, light control, mirror lights on either side. Now this trim is definitely different here and on the dash as well. So that's a unique touch. Steering wheel is power adjustable and let's pop in. So here is the steering wheel for the Lightning. You've got really nice leather trim all around, just like a Lariat. You guys can see the contrasted stitching. We've got the Ford logo here in the center. Controls for the center stack, phone controls, volume, voice command controls. We've got our adaptive cruise control with our steering assistance. And then you guys can see here with the turn signal windshield wiper stock. And so, yeah, so far, all the same. Now we have a full digital gauge cluster, but obviously it looks a little bit different than what you have in a gas powered F-150. So you guys can see the different viewpoints that we can go through here. So for example, I can go into the trip computer and see exactly what's happening. Now, instead of, you know, showing gas consumption, it shows you, you know, how much battery consumption you are uh, using on the trips and everything, which is definitely unique. And then notice here how you can kind of customize the whole screen and see uh, what you can see. I'm interested to see tire pressures. Okay. I just, I know it's a random thing, but it's always interesting to see. And notice here, we also have the towing screen with all the stuff. So like, basically, again, slightly different, but a lot of the same stuff that you see in a regular F-150, you can see with this. Now, I think this is pretty cool here on the side. So it shows you, right, how many miles of range you have. And then up here, it shows you the temperature of everything as well, which is really important for towing, right? So you don't overheat the battery uh, pack and the motors and all that. So I think that's pretty cool that they show that. Um, now. Uh, other than that, that is pretty much everything for the gauge cluster. Now here is the infotainment system for the Lightning. Now, first off, if we pop it into reverse, you guys can see here, we have the backup camera with trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel. And notice we got the zoom function as well. We got this bird's eye view, which you can zoom on uh, different angles here with the truck. And yeah, so super solid camera system. You know, the fact this has a 360 camera system is awesome. Notice all the different viewpoints that we can go, even a view of the bed as well. So just like the regular F-150, you're covered from a camera perspective. Now we're actually going to pop on the lower portion of the infotainment system, then go up. So we've got a bunch of controls here for like the heated seats, cooled seats, all that. So you just like press this and then basically can go into that function. So if you guys have been in the new Mustang Mach-E, this is going to be very familiar uh, for you. And then you got like the climate controls here, dual zone climate. And then you have like your radio stuff basically here, phone stuff, all that in this portion. And then you have this next portion, which is even more so notice it's showing you your percent use with everything, which is pretty cool um, so that you can kind of be more economical with certain things. It's, it's cool all the tech that they have here. Anyways, you have this screen where you can pull it down and notice we've got our Apple CarPlay, Android Auto as well. And then when you're done, just press the X and then it'll go away. Now, if you press the lightning icon, we can go through the different drive modes here. We have our normal sport off-road and then our tow haul mode as well. And then notice here how we have our one pedal drive and our locking differential. It's got like this weird electronic uh, locking differential with um, the whole motor system, which is very advanced. I'm not smart enough to explain it, but basically Ford has managed to 
do something that shouldn't really be possible, but it's possible with electric vehicles nowadays. Um, anyways, notice here with the one pedal drive, if I press that and then if I go into the tow haul mode, one pedal drive paused. Um, so that is something to know um, with the tow haul mode is that uh, it's going to pause it. I'll talk about this more in the driving portion. Um, but anyways, uh, we're going to just move that out of the way. You guys can see all the different menus that we can scroll into. So like I can go into the camera menu right there, for example, and then all of the other menus here on the side. So there's quite a bit here um, with it. And then notice here with the backup power as well for like your house. I mean, there's so much cool stuff with the lightning, a lot in the infotainment system. But basically all you need to know is this can charge your house, it can charge your work site, and there's, there's a lot to be said here. So we have our pro trailer assist, we've got our trailer brake controls, and then you guys can see here with the wood trim that covers the wireless phone charging area and then the USBs. Got some cup holders right here with the fold down shifter, and we have the workbench center console. And notice this is just a regular F-150 center console, and same thing with the glove box, unchanged. Uh, again, the material use on the dash is a little bit different. And then popping up top, this one has a panoramic sunroof with a power sliding window as well. Universal garage door openers, and there you go. Here's our window sticker for this F-150 Lightning. You guys can see all the standard equipment. Uh, and then this one is a 511A group package. You guys can see the rest of the optional equipment. So notice the base price here, $67,474. And then after all options, $81,544 is the total price. And then here is the whole range uh, info and all of that. Anyways, doo -doo -doo. let's see how the new Lightning drives and I'll give you guys my thoughts on it. Well, let's talk about visibility before you set off. Here's your visibility over the hood. Both mirrors which do a blind spot monitoring and then throughout the rest of the rear. And let's set off. So we are setting off in the lightning and sorry that this is a longer video compared to what I normally do, but there is a lot to go over here with the new lightning. And so I'm just trying to cover everything because, you know, I don't know when the next time I'll be able to get a hold of one of these. Obviously the Ford here in Provo is going to have this for a while, but I doubt you guys want to see multiple reviews on the same exact uh, truck. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know if I'm wrong and I can, you know, work with the Ford and Provo to get you guys more content here on this truck. I do have it in the one pedal drive, which um, it's kind of interesting to get used to in a pickup truck. It's, it's a very heavy vehicle. And so when it does this slowdown, it, you know, it's obviously there's a big weight transfer. And so it's kind of interesting. First off, it is so quiet in here. Like all I can hear is the air conditioning in my air conditioned seat. Little bit of tire noise, but it is very quiet. It is such a serene experience. I'm actually going to pop into the sport mode here because this is gonna be our acceleration place. Now, apparently, word on the street is, uh, this is faster than the T-Rex from an acceleration perspective. So we're gonna create a little bit of space here. Whoa, okay, okay. Wow, we'll get another one of those in a little bit. I'm gonna pop back in the normal mode so we can do a little bit more normal driving, but ah, gives you that electric vehicle head rush. That is for sure. Um, other things, seat comfort, just like a regular Lariat. So yeah, nice padding and cushioning on the seats. Again, I have the air conditioned seat function on, which is great. One pedal drive is probably gonna be the thing that's gonna take people the longest to get used to. Again, you can turn it off um, while you're getting used to the truck, but obviously you're not gonna get as much benefit from the whole regen thing. But I didn't think I'd like this, but I really like the uh, feeling of this truck. It's, it's very smooth too. This is definitely smoother than a regular F-150 from, you know, an onward perspective. And I mean, it makes sense, right? Independent rear suspension, doesn't have leaf springs. And so like going over bumps, the truck stays nice and planted and it's really smooth. Like this feels like a full blown luxury car to drive on road. It's a much bigger difference than I expected. I thought this would still kind of drive like an F-150. It has the size, but it doesn't have the yeah, it doesn't have the same ride quality. This is a lot smoother. Man, this is crazy. This is a very, very interesting experience. Um, other stuff here with the Lightning. Uh, Visibility is great. Like, you don't, again, you don't really give up anything by going to the electric version of the F-150. So that is a benefit. That girl just gave me the weirdest look ever. She's like, why does this person have a camera on their head? Um, <laughs> so funny sometimes. Uh, other stuff, I'm trying to think uh, what else you guys would want to uh, 
snow here on the truck. Yeah, that one pedal drive is so interesting. Um, I guess we'll talk about a few of the elephants in the room. Um, so first elephant is the infotainment system. I, you know, it's really responsive. I like it overall, but I don't like it as much as the regular F-150 horizontal display. I don't know why Ford went with the vertical display. I get that this is what they have in the Mustang Mach-E, but my personal opinion is that they should have kept the same F-150 infotainment system. Now, again, it's everything's pretty much integrated into it. Other than at the bottom, there's like the stability control and the parking assistance and the hazard lights and all that. But yeah, I just, vertical I think is, or no, sorry, horizontal is the way to go. I don't think vertical is the way to go with an infotainment system. Um, aside from that, obviously, the other thing is towing. Yes, this does have a strong towing capacity. And um, shout out to TFL. Go watch their towing video with the Ike Gauntlet. Um, basically, they showed that this thing is just a monster with towing. But in that video, they lost a ton of range while towing. And so, although I think that this is going to be, you know, a monster in terms of like its capability with towing and hauling, it's obviously going to be limited by range. And then it takes a lot longer to charge up an electric vehicle than it takes to fill up a truck with gas. So that is a downside. And so I think that that kind of puts the new F-150 Lightning kind of in a weird place because again, this is an amazing truck. It's extremely comfortable. It's quiet. It's fast. Um, like it, it feels like you're getting everything and towing is super solid. Again, like I said, go watch TFL's video, go watch their video. Um, they proved that this thing is a towing monstrosity. Like it does an amazing job from a towing perspective. And so, it seems like there's no downside, but again, the only downside is gonna be the electric range while towing and give myself another head rush here. <laughs> Cut the tires loose a little bit there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This thing is just crazy. Um, and something to mention is there's no like driveline select. So that's another thing that's weird with this compared to regular F-150 is in a regular F-150, you can go from two wheel drive to four wheel auto. If it's a Lariat, four wheel high, four wheel low. Whereas this, it's just gonna do it all for you. Again, you do have, you know, the locking differential function you can do, but yeah, it's very similar. Like I still feel like I'm in an F-150. And so I'm, I'm trying to figure out the best way to summarize this. So basically, They've electrified the F-150. I think they've done a better job than any other manufacturer with making an electric truck at an affordable price range. Like fit and finish on this is amazing. And I would buy this over any other EV truck on the market. Rivian, Tesla doesn't have the Cybertruck out yet, but I buy this over the Tesla. I'd buy this over uh, the new Hummer EV, frankly, because this is more affordable. And, um, you know, obviously Hummer EV, you're gonna be fine with servicing, but like Rivian and, and Tesla, Tesla's a little bit better than Rivian, but Rivian, good luck with servicing that truck. That's all I gotta say. Whereas this, if you know anything goes wrong, it's first year vehicle, then there's tons of Ford dealerships, so you're gonna be handled. Um, and they have technicians that have worked on electric vehicles because they have the Mach-E out, right? So I really like this truck. Um, it doesn't necessarily do all the practical stuff that a truck needs to do because it doesn't have the towing range and the hauling range. But other than that, it's great. So I guess if you're gonna be driving the truck around 99% of the time, and maybe you're gonna just, you know, tow stuff a short distance, then this will be great. Or you're just gonna haul stuff a short distance, this will be great. But if you're doing, you know, interstate towing, cross country towing, all that kind of stuff, power boost is probably still the route to go. But yeah, for short distances and just as a daily driver truck, this thing is amazing. Like, <laughs> it's so fast. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about the new Lightning. I, I think it's I think it's pretty great. There's some upsides and some downsides, but overall, I think it's great. That's gonna sum things up for our video on the new F-150 Lightning. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Miller Ford Lincoln here in Provo for giving me some time with this Lightning. Check out the M-Tory in the description down below. I will see all of you in that next video.